This video is going to be a quick guide to getting the Resident Evil 7 achievement where you complete the game only using the item box three times. This run is by no means optimised and I'm far from a professional at the game but I still managed to complete the run regardless. I also got the achievement for completing the game using less than three healing items at the same time but I wouldn't recommend doing that. A few things I wish I knew before I started is that weapons can't be discarded once you pick them up. I made the mistake of picking up the burner only to realise I couldn't get rid of it. It wasn't a big deal and I adapted. Likewise I didn't know that the grenade launcher appears again at the end of the game if you don't pick it up in the house. If I had known that I probably would have collected grenade rounds but I didn't and I managed anyway. The last thing related to the first thing is that the burner is surprisingly good at destroying the traps in the Lucas section. If I were to do it again what would I do different? Well the first thing I already mentioned is that I would actually collect the grenade rounds. I didn't bother because I wasn't planning on using the grenade launcher but then the grenade launcher appears at the end of the game anyway. I'd have tried to have mixed more advanced handgun ammo because I finished the game with five strong chems in my inventory. I don't know how well that would have worked in practice but if I were to do it again that is something I would try. The last thing isn't directly related to the no item box run but I would have killed the crawlers on the boat section because those things did a lot of damage to me as I was running past and I ended the game with a surplus of remote bombs so if I were to do it again I probably would just blow them up. Save the game before you use the box whenever you do use the box and before doing any major inventory management like discarding items. That way if you mess up you could just load your previous save and get right back to where you were. This actually saved the run for me because in the section after Lucas I forgot to take the arm out of the box but because I saved I could quit out to the main menu and reload the save. I don't think retrying would help you because if you retry I think it would still count your item box uses. Take your time and take it slow because there is no real time limit on this challenge and it's better to do it once properly than it is to try and rush it and screw up the entire run. Next tip is obvious, make sure you collect all the backpacks so that you've got the most inventory items including the one in the boat in the recreation area. Don't bother getting the magnum, only consider it if you know where all the coins are hidden and you know where all the ammo is hidden. You don't really need the magnum and it's probably more hassle than it's worth. There are gun repair parts hidden under the house. When you get to the trailer past the three headed dog door, opposite the trailer in some long grass is a secret crawl space behind some metal. In there are the gun repair parts. I don't think there's any point in repairing the broken handgun because you won't really get to use it until the Lucas section and by then you'll have lots of better guns. So get the powerful shotgun, repair that and let that carry you through the rest of the game. On a related note you probably won't be using the Albert much because you can't access the box to get items out until the end of the Lucas section. Again by that point you'll have a shotgun probably with lots of ammo. You can use it I guess but just don't count on it to carry you through the game. I strongly recommend getting the shotgun and letting that carry you through most of the game but if for whatever reason you don't want to get the shotgun or you don't want to get it until later on in the game then you could probably avoid taking the scorpion key. I've not tried this but the only doors that it opens are a shortcut and the room with the shotgun in it and there's no other important items hidden behind that door so you could probably ignore that key and still complete the game, save yourself an inventory space. Again I could be wrong as I've not tried it myself but I think that's how that works. My final bit of advice is only pick up healing items when you need them and if you do pick them up throughout the game then don't be afraid to burn through them or even discard them if uh, using them isn't an option. If you've played the game enough to be trying this challenge you shouldn't need that many healing items anywhere and if you do need them they're all over the place throughout the game so don't worry too much about that. A quick overview of my general plan when I was first starting this run was I wasn't going to get the grenade launcher because it would use too much inventory space and you only get a few shots with it throughout the game. I considered getting the magnum but then changed my mind later. 
I wasn't going to use healing items and if I did need healing items I would mix them when I needed them that way I wouldn't be picking up a bunch of crap items and then having to throw them away and finally I wanted to avoid picking up things like chems and ammo until I was sure I could use them again I wanted to avoid throwing things away and if I did need extra ammo or if I needed extra chems or whatever I could always backtrack through the house to get them this plan worked pretty well except for the few things I would do differently that I mentioned earlier on I will link to the full run in the description but for now here's a quick run through of what I did and what my thoughts are on it so first was the guest house, fairly standard. I got the coin because I was still considering the magnum, but other than that, you run the guest house as normal. For the house, I got the handgun, I got the shotgun, and I tried to run past some guys and died at one point. So then I decided, well, I'm going to have to take my time and kill these guys, taking as little damage as possible. But aside from that, the house went pretty much as expected. Make sure you have a couple of inventory spaces free when you go to fight Jack, that way you can collect the dog's head and get the chainsaw to make the fight easier. When I reached the trailer, I went under the house, got the parts, repaired the shotgun. For the house, I decided to waste all of my handgun bullets to destroy the hives in order to free up inventory space because I wasn't going to be using the handgun again until the Lucas section. I collected the burner um, got that, used that to carry me through the rest of the house. As said earlier, my original plan was to discard the burner after the house section, but then I discovered that you couldn't. The first Marguerite fight, shoot her two or three times with the super shotgun, that should be enough. If she ever puts out a swarm of insects, switch to the burner and burn them away. For the second fight, I used the shotgun a lot and I made liberal use of the burner. Again, this was to free up uh, space by getting rid of all the burner ammo that I didn't need. After the fight, I cleared the place out for handgun ammo and shotgun ammo. I left the grenade rounds here, but it might be worth bringing those along. When you're getting the key cards for the Lucas section, that's a good time to do one last whip round of the house to get any items that you want to take with you. Then the Lucas section itself, I used the burner on the landmines until I ran out and then used handgun for the rest. At the end you need the crank and the arm out of the box and you need to pick up the head. I forgot this when I did it but because I'd saved I could exit to the main menu and reload my save. You don't need the knife though as I discovered. The knife is a cutscene knife so you don't have to bring that along if you want to save an extra inventory slot. You'll have lots of handgun ammo for breaking boxes if you want to do that. The board section is bog standard board section. You shouldn't need to use the item box at all. Make sure you collect the backpack from the recreation area. Before you go into the final room to fight Evie, if you go into the luggage area, there's a couple of more bombs. They're not important, but if you want them, they're there. Finally, there's the salt mines. Um, this is where you get to open the box and you get to fill up your inventory. I took the machine gun, the shotgun, the pistol, and the remote bombs. You can use the grenade launcher or the magnum instead of the pistol. The only weapon that's really required is the SMG which you can use to kill the last boss. Just before the last boss there's a bunch of ammo for it that seems to be more than enough to kill it. And that is it. Achievement unlocked. I hope you find this guide helpful and thanks for watching.